All right, what's up everyone? Andy here. So back here at the dojo for another round of filming. Today we are going to be covering Ukemi. Um, so Ukemi, for those that uh, haven't been introduced to it yet, um, or Taihen Jitsu, is a group of techniques that's essentially made to save you from hitting the ground. Um, so going back to my Sanshin no Kata videos, um, I mentioned the word uke, which means to receive. Um, the word uke, uh, the word ukemi includes the very same uh, word here, uke. Um, in this context, ukemi meaning to receive the ground. So these are a bunch of techniques, um, break balls and rolls that essentially are designed to save you from the most damage um, when you're hitting the ground. Whether you've just slipped and fallen, um, you're jumping off of something high, or someone's thrown uh, or pushed you, it's basically meant to, uh, to save your head, in your most important parts, from hitting the ground. Um, before we start though, as a disclaimer, um, Ukemi is a safety practice, right? So, you know, for those of you that enjoy watching, you know, Kung Fu Hollywood movies and whatnot, um, Ukemi, and I can't stress enough, I, I've had to tell this to quite a number of people, it doesn't matter how good your Ukemi is, you're not going to be dodging shuriken or bullets or anything like that, it really is meant just to save you from hitting the ground. Um, so, uh, with that out of the way, let's dive right in. Alright, so now we're down here on the mat, we're going to start off with what we call Zenpo Ukemi, or forward break fall. So, as the name implies, it's a break fall in a forward direction uh, meant to save you from basically hitting the ground face first. So, very first iteration I'm going to show, and I'm going to show um, all three of these break falls um, with three progressions. Um, so, you guys can kind of ease, uh, ease your way into it and work your way up into eventually doing these from completely standing up. So. Zenpo Ukemi, or forward break fall, I'm starting in Seiza. So from down here, simply I'm just going to reach forward with my hands, almost like I'm trying to dive forward. As I do so, I'm going to pick a leg, doesn't matter which one. It's going to shoot straight back, um, just like I'm trying to kick, and I'm going to look behind me as I do so. The most important thing, and this applies to all break falls, I want, if I am going to be doing a break fall, with the arms involved, I want everything hitting the ground at the same time, right? So no hand first, and then everything goes down, or elbow first. No, it's palm all the way down to the end of my forearm, landing all at the same time. So Zenpo Ukemi, um, in one of the more basic forms from Seiza, looks like this. Okay, and then from the side. Boom, just like that. So again, everything is hitting at the same time, but the most important part is I want my hands in front of my head. Um, we're doing this on some nice cushy mats. If I'm doing this um, outside, or you know, maybe I'm doing this in the workplace, I've just slipped on something, right? Um, I want my hands in front of my head, just because if I have momentum going into this, the last thing I want is my head to go past my hands, and then that's gonna hit the ground first. At the very least, they might not be soft and squishy, but having my hands as a cushion is better than nothing. Um, so that is from Seiza. Once you've gotten used to that, you can start from this kind of semi-crouching position called Sonkyo. So when doing um, Zenpo Ukemi from higher up, it's going to change a little bit. So you notice that when you're doing it from kneeling, my knee is going to be in contact with the ground, right? So as I come down here, Boom, my knee and my foot are still touching the ground. The biggest problem with doing this at higher elevations is you really don't want to be smashing your knees into the floor. So from crouching over uh, from crouching over here, what you want to do now, you're gonna shoot your hips and your legs straight back. So it's almost like you're throwing two kicks, right? One with each leg. Um, for those of you that do uh, wrestling, judo, um, any form of jujitsu, uh, sambo, right? You're going to be familiar with this. It's called the sprawl. Um, only difference now is that I'm going to I'm going to land same thing flat with the forearms. So from the forward facing position, boom, just going to drop straight down. And from the side, hips, feet shoot straight up. And then from standing up. 
it's essentially the exact same thing. Um, now, if you don't want to skip straight from Songkyo to standing up, you can crouch down a little bit, right? Give yourself a little less height, and it works essentially the exact same way. Once you've worked your uh, way up to the point where you can do this fully standing up, it's just a matter of dropping straight down and hitting the ground. And that's Zenpo Ukemi. All right, next up on our list, we have Koho Ukemi, or backwards break fall. Um, so this one is going to be the opposite to a Zenpo Ukemi. This time you're going to be taking the fall on your back. Now, important safety note on this one, and I've seen this a lot, the last thing you want to do when you do a back break fall, Koho Ukemi, is to take it on your lower back, right? This is probably one of the worst places to take that break fall. Most of the impact you want to be taking with your upper back, right? This, this is a very large collection of muscle groups. Um, a lot less likely you're going to really seriously hurt something up here than you are down here, right? There's a lot of stuff up here in my upper back to protect my spine, not so much here at the lower back. So for Kohu Ukemi, instead of starting from Seiza, um, I'm going to start down in Songkyo first. Now, for Kohu Ukemi, I'm basically going to rock straight back, but I'm going to keep the chin tucked in and I want my elbows off the ground, right? So I want my arms somewhere in front of me. So what that could look like here, I'm just going to tip straight back here. So I still have a clear field of view over here. My feet are up. I've landed on my upper back. My hands are up so my elbows aren't hitting the ground and my chin's tucked in so I don't end up smacking my head on the back of the ground or sorry, back of my head on the ground. So from the side, I'm basically just going to rock straight back. Boom. Take the fall on my upper back, not my lower back. Then I'm going to get up. Now, a little higher up now, instead of Songkyo, I can kind of start from this kind of spawn, uh, this uh, kind of crouch down stand, uh, semi standing position. Again, just like from Songkyo, except this time I'm going to have to reposition my rear foot so I can kind of almost sit down on it. And from here, the exact same thing. And from the side. And then get up. And then from standing up, it's a matter of doing the exact same thing, but now I just want to take a really nice big step back, fall into it, get up, and then from the side, the exact same thing, step and fall and get up. Okay, so the last of the break falls that we have on the list is what's called soku hole ukemi or a side break fall. Um, this one can be a little odd, um, especially if you're brand new or if you're not used to it. Um, so we're going to start in a low kind of crouching position here. So notice how unlike regular Sonkyo with my knees out, I'm going to keep my knees and my feet relatively narrow. The reason for this is that when you do Sonkyo Kemi is that you want everything from Top of the forearm here, all the way down there, all that is going to hit the ground at the same time. So, um, essentially, the idea is that starting from this position just to get used to how it works, I'm just going to tip off to the side and I'm just going to let myself land nice and flat. Again, important, do not slap with this. When I hit the ground, I'm just going to extend my arm out just to give myself a little support so I don't roll over, but I'm not trying to slap. So, um, I'm only going to demonstrate this from the front because it's kind of wonky to do this um, from a side view. Um, I find it shows a lot more when you're doing this from the front view. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start tipping off to my right side here and as I hit the ground, I'm just gonna stick that arm out. Just to give myself a little support. Again, I don't want the legs coming super high, but I do want everything here on my side hitting the ground at the same time. So once more, starting from a low crouching position here, knees and feet, Relatively, uh, relatively narrow. I'm just going to tip. And the arm comes right out. And that is a basic starting version of Soku Hole Kimi. Um, then you can increase the height as you get more and more comfortable. Um, so to do the full 
Soku Hulu Kemi, starting from a standing position. You're going to be shifting your weight to one side as you do so. You're going to sweep, right? So it's almost like you're throwing a kick straight off to the side across your body. And you just want it so that the knee of your sweeping leg is going over top of the supporting leg. As I do that, I'm going to start tipping, lowering myself down with my supporting leg. And just like on the ground, I'm just going to tip and then I'm just going to stick my arm out for some support. So I'm going to start shifting, I'm going to sweep. And the arm is just going to come out to give myself a little support so I don't roll over. My other hand here that's not on the ground, this is just going to come up here right beside my face, right? This is going to give me a little support with the neck so my head doesn't hit the ground, but also gives me a little bit of cushion. Also gives me something to work with once I've hit the ground. Assuming that there's an opponent to work with or a sparring partner or something, this is going to keep me protected. Um, it's not much protection, but it's better than nothing. So once more, starting from standing up. Now, you can also do this from Hira no Kamae, or rather Hira Ichi Munji no Kamae, as it's sometimes shown. Um, it gives you a wider base to work with. Generally, I'll just have everybody start from a regular standing position. But if you are going to do it from Hira Ichi Munji no Kamae, it's basically the exact same thing. I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna sweep, and then I'm just going to tip right over, and again, everything lands nice and flat, and my feet don't come off the floor. Right, so that covers pretty much all the basic break falls that you'll need to know. Um, Zenpo Ukemi, Koho Ukemi, and Sokuho Ukemi. Um, so I will continue this, uh, I will continue Ukemi in a separate video. Um, the next one covering, um, covering all the different roles that you'll be doing. All right, I'll see you guys here.